35 years. Hmm. If you realize I was just going to be 35, what letter is that? Hmm? That's to be the I'm 25 that year. 1989 The call into ministry began on the 3rd of May, 1988. I was getting ready to travel to Germany when the Lord showed me a vision in the night. I saw a big black bird flying like fiercely and forcefully into my bedroom. And it was coming with a beak that looks like a sharp iron to press me through the bed. I did not know where the gentle force came that lifted me up on the side. And it went with the beak straight into the bed. And when he got stuck there, a similar bird that was white and big and coming with a, a much more stronger force came and pierced her through and tore into pieces. From that place, as I landed, not on the bed anymore, my feet were on ground. I started going down, down, down. And I got to a place I didn't know where it was. And I was face to face with a wooden panel all across the place like a door. It was open and I saw humans arrange like you arrange sardine in, in his can and i heard the spirit of god said to me these are the people in ikeja maryland Unibungo, Orego. go tell them that the prison door is open My wife and I were at a wedding on October 1, 1988, when the Lord spoke to me again that my days were numbered where I was. He had already spoken to me, he showed me a vision, come and show you a bigger river. But on October 1, 1988, he said, your time is up. Get ready uh, to move to another level. That led us to start the Lateran Assembly on April 1, 1989. And prior to this time, we were going to church, you know, normal, normal. And then, now I'm going to be a pastor's wife. I, did, I wasn't trained for that, you know, so I, I, I had no clue what was coming at me. And when it was pronounced to the church where he was, the literal thing would say that all he broke loose. There were curses that were pronounced against him and against anyone who is following him. And then my husband would say, oh, the best of the curses is that he will die in that particular year. But thank God we survived it despite all Provocations and curses pronounced, we are still standing. We gather together at this hour before you, glorious God. We want to thank you for rebuking the spirit of death in this assembly. Accept our praises in the name of Jesus. One of the outstanding miracles that has always impressed me is the issue of fruit of the womb. I've seen people that medical science will have even written off, that they will not be able to conceive. I remember a particular one, a pastor was ministering and um, he was talking about menopause. And he said, when you hear menopause, it is a pause, not a stop. And apparently there was a lady in church who just held on to that word to say menopause is not menostop. And she ran with that word. She was over 50 and was trusting God uh, for the fruit of the womb. And to the glory of God, they have a daughter today. And every time I look at that child, I know that that child is a testimony. So you have so many of such miracles. We have miracles of people coming into the sanctuary with snakes, you know, on their waist. 
just coming there to act. And before they know it, the word of knowledge will go. There's somebody holding it. So the Lord did so many things, making it impossible for people to really stay and carry out their evil task. I can never forget the Abacha one. Wherever we were, I was feeling it everywhere in Lagos. By the time we came to church on Sunday, I mean, the church could not contain everybody that came. The tender messages of the wicked are cruel. Abacha, your time is up. Confusion is coming on the political setting of Nigeria. Listen to me. SDP will lose. NRC will fail, be swallowed up and cut off. But the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. I told you before, I will say it again. When you are pursuing God's assignment for your life, he knows you're not perfect. Even the mistakes you make and the road to fulfilling that assignment, it has a way of pardoning you. When the word first came, I knew there would be a transition into Citadel. But you will wonder, how did I come by the name? I was studying my Bible one day, and I was in Joel chapter 2. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God. And there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterward. That arrested my attention. That there is an afterward after the latter rain. Do you understand me? And I paused there. Lord, what is going to come afterward? The whole idea of Nehemiah Citadel hit me. So I said, okay. Register Citadel Global Community Church. It's global, it's local. So it's Citadel Global Community Church. So you've seen Lateran from different transitions from Lateran Assembly to the Lateran Assembly, from the Lateran Assembly to CGCC. It's a progression of what you call apostolic construct. So you can't say you are stuck in one place. No, when God says move, you move maximize this continuity. Two things came out very clearly from the beginning. There are one, discipline. You cannot afford to be like a desica around PTB. Never. Number two is that we lived every second, every moment, every minute, every hour of our lives through the world. So when you say the word becomes life, you are talking about a people in those youthful years of PTB. Everything we are doing, we are living by the word. So you can see how the word over the years has shaped us as a people, as a family. I came to Lagos in 2007 for my IT in Siemens, and I met another member of CGCC, Den Dratarin by the name Funke Oladimeji. We started talking, I discovered that she, she has some traits that are not common, and I believe if she could have gotten that from the citadel, the Den Latarin. So I told Funke, please get me this tape. You know, in those days on the website, you have messages on Excel, and they will highlight some in red. Funke told me, any message in red, there are messages to look for. So I, I picked all those messages in red, they were like 50. But by the time she brought tape for me, I was like, how will I listen to all this? Can I tell you, I listen to everything. And the last one I listened to was Romance is Part of Humanity. That was 3G. So I came live for a 3G meeting, and that was it. I said, I'm not going anywhere anymore. So many moments, so many wonderful moments. I, I think the one that me and my wife still tease herself about, uh, when we're pregnant with our first daughter, our first child, whenever we enter church and pastor speaks, the baby kicks. <laughs> we don't know how. Anybody else can speak, she won't kick. But immediately pastor mounts the podium and says, praise the Lord, or lift up your hand. Immediately pastor speaks, or we enter the auditorium and hears pastor's voice. From the belly, she kicks. My wife always, Tap your baby kiki. You know? So it's always fun. 
uh, for us. Uh, so many good memories, so many good memories. I remember then when we come to church, we have to go for casual Sunday. And pastor will come and say, what time is it? And everybody will be saying, it's time to take over. There are wars to fight, giants to kill, city to take. We are God's warriors. We are giant killers and we are city takers. When we look at the demography of the people that are in church now, I mean, the generation we have now, not everybody is from that generation, but at least we are picking up on it. And every time he asks that question, it always makes me reflect on the then militant behavior we had. In those days, there's no doubt as for what is youth. And so we give him tell the end that just sit down. The youths are ready and they are, and they are excited that they are working for God. So that's what we see, keep on praying in this season, that the youths, you know, we catch up with the vision, catch up with the spirit of the house because and leverage the service of God with their energy. It's a whole lot of excitement for me to know that you have a crop of people who can serve God in their youth and with their youthful energy. I'm not sure I'm very good at that, but uh, I know that uh, it does say God's man in God's place, doing God's work in God's way will not lack God's support. God will not forsake the righteous. He will not justify the wicked. The righteousness of a righteous man will answer for him in the days to come, and the wickedness of the wicked man will fall upon his own head. Others may, you cannot because of destiny. You can win by righteousness. I will be like Jesus. I will win by righteousness. I am orderly. I am obedient. I am peaceful. I walk in unity. In all these things, we are more than conquerors. I declare the decree that everything line up, Father, in the name of Jesus. That everything line up in Jesus' wow. mighty name. One word. Lasted five years. Generational. Fulfilled. Phenomenal. Growth. Incredible. And we can say that, uh, Ebenezer, this is where God has helped us thus far. But we're also confident. We have hope for greater things coming ahead of us. So my word of encouragement to PTB is that if you continue to do what he's doing, and even the entire CGC family, we should continue to do what we're doing. One day, in the nearest future, all the things we have prophesied, the things we have said, even from the word of God, will surely come to pass. The God that has done it before, he can do it again. So CGCC, greater things are ahead of us. It's been 35 good years in ministry. No scandals. Whether financial scandal, sexual scandal, it has been by the grace of God. And we can only ask that that grace will continue to keep him on in the name of Jesus. And there's only one prayer I always pray every time they tell us to pray for pastor. And that's the prayer I'm going to pray to pastor. I'm hoping he's watching this himself. That our life will be a testimony of your calling. That when they see us, then it will show that you have indeed fulfilled your destiny. PTB, we are looking up to you. We are encouraging you. We are following your steps. We are a new breed without greed. And we are assuring you that in times to come, even now, you would be able to beat your chest to say, these are the people that I shepherd and they are taking strategic positions in the mountains of influence and they are bringing terror to the camp of the enemy. 
Thank you for obeying when God said, I will show you a bigger river. Not even knowing what that river would look like, but you just said, yes, Lord. I pray that your latter years will be greater than your former. I pray that God will renew your strength daily in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. And whilst also praying for pastor, I just want to also pray for Mrs. B. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ma'am, for your labor of love over the Citadel Global Community Church. Thank you so much for giving of yourself, giving of your time, giving of your life, behind the scene, in front of the scene, all that you do. You will not lose your reward here on earth, neither will you lose your reward in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much, ma'am. Happy the fifth anniversary. anniversary. We love you. Mm-hmm. And can I get a hug? <laughs> uh, God bless you. Amen. Okay, I should change it. <laughs> you are screaming me now. Yeah, but I'm doing, I'm doing so now. I'm trying. Guys. Hello? Fight or set? In three, two, one, action! <laughs> so, okay, I was a homemaker and still am. Mm-hmm. So you will edit it and I'll be. <laughs> The, the strength of a brand is not in the, the maker. The strength of the brand is the people that eat it and say, wow, this is good. And I think that's, that's my proudest moment, really. Uh, I've been in this ministry since... Um, the story God, I can't even remember. <laughs> I have to process. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't know how much of, your, how much of what your camera is right. There is space. Okay, fine. <sighs> And uh, I know that the blessings of God will remain upon our lives, you know, because where the unity is, there the blessings would remain. But by the time it is Sunday or more, the way people go full church here, you go think, say whether, I mean, somebody is running for a political, you know, um, office. But it was always such an amazing moment when prophecies come to pass. Thank God for everyone who had labored side by side with us, some within and some who had left, some who have even gone to heaven. Their contribution, God would definitely reward them and their descendants on the face of the earth. It's not a one-man show, whether the Lateran or the Citadel Global Community Church. It's a community. It was joint efforts brought us here by the grace of God. And the grace that has brought us this far will lead us home. We are confident. I trust God that Hundred years after I've led the planet, men are still studying with Tule Bakari. I was born a child. I was raised a boy. I became a man. By his grace, I would die an institution that men will still continue to study. And because this is what I've devoted my life to, my wife, myself, our family, that's our major concern, to leave the world better than we met it because he commissioned us, he empowered us, and he gave us authority to do so. And we want to share that with others who will make a difference in this crooked and folly world. God bless you.